is Sharda Lambert here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome into the Gem Zone. So you probably haven't seen me before if you're new. So I'll introduce myself just for you, okay? My name is Sharda Lambert. I am a international career nanny, parent coach, sleep consultant, and potty training specialist. Technically, I'm a childcare expert, okay? So this is where you wanna come for anything childcare because I'm gonna be dropping gems all year round. Today we are going to be talking about the biology basis of language, specifically the FOXP2 gene. You guys know I'm already quite nerdy and I just love everything to do with child development and also the biology of language and communication and learning about the brain and psychology and all those things. I don't want to bore you but I'm going to give you some tips on the FOXP2 gene and also the biology of language. So stay tuned. So talking about the localization hypothesis, there's specific areas of the brain that are associated with specific functions. The larynx, also known as the voice box, is the area that connects the throat to the windpipe. When infants are born, the larynx sits high up in the throat. As they get older and they develop, the larynx falls and that allows children to speak. So let's talk about the Fox P2 gene. The Fox P2 gene controls facial muscles that are involved in speech. Humans share this gene with other species such as birds and chimpanzees. Humans can regulate how the gene is expressed. That's why chimpanzees and birds can't speak, but we can. Children with impaired language have an impaired Fox P2 gene. Researchers such as Bowers indicated that there's a sex difference with the Fox P2 gene. So what does this mean? It means that boys are more likely to have a language development or delay rather than girls. If you want to know more about the biology basis of language, if you're a bit geeky like me, then I will say research on the Fox P2 gene and the localization hypothesis. Read upon it, absorb the information, and it will really help you if you are working with children with language development delay. If you learned something new in this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't be afraid to comment below, okay? And share it to your friends and family or your other childcare experts or professionals that you think might find it useful. And you know where to find me, guys. I tell you all the time on all social media platforms at Nanny Shards. Take care and I'll see you soon.